has been message been to you? Um, a lot is just kind of go hard. Uh, I don't think we've always talked. Like I feel like I always play with basketball with confidence. Like I've always been taught that growing up, and so I feel like going out here and not just you know playing half effort. Like I need to be out there and go 100%. If I need to ask for a sub, that's what needs to happen. Like I don't want to go out there and give 50% because I want to play more minutes. I want to give 100%. And if that's less minutes, then that's fine for me, and that's fine. For me. And I think um, especially this year. Uh, the summer, he kind of told me, like, we need you to step into a little bit of what Kiana Smith played last year, which was a knockdown three-point shooter. Um, but he said, I, need, I needed to work on my defense game a lot, and I knew that. That was my weakness last year. People would come in, especially as a freshman, they find you as the weak link. And especially in defense, they found me as weak link. And so I think my goal this year is not only be a knockdown shooter, but kind of show what I can be on defense, too. They're all freshmen, highly talented freshmen, come to this program. Yes. They play a role that first year. And it feels like their sophomore season can be a, a breakout. Do you feel like that, that could also be you? I feel like I, I've worked really hard this offseason, so if that's what comes this year, I really hope that it does. But at this, I just want to be what's best for our team, and I just want to win games, and I think that's what everyone here wants to do. So if that's me doing well, if that's someone else doing well, then I just want that to be what's best for the team. How much different is what you thought was working hard and what Coach Wallace says is working hard? <laughs> <laughs> Even if you think you're going 100%, no, you're not. <laughs> just know you're wrong. Um, and I think just that transition from high school to college last year was huge. And then, like you said before, like freshman to sophomore year is just such a huge leap. And I think that it's kind of a do or die at this point. So I think going out there with 100% effort every day and having coaches that push you to do that is really important. Making a Final Four run your freshman year, how cool was that? And do you think what do you learn from it? What do you learn from that running last year? Oh, yeah, it's amazing. Like, that's unlike any opportunity I've had before. And obviously, like, showing or seeing just the support that women's basketball has all around the country is incredible. Um, but I think not only for me, but for obviously the members that came from that returning team, it's going to be really helpful for any type of run we have this year and any type of play we have in the ACC. Obviously, anyone's goal at a high level school is you want to win a national championship. But Coach Walls has talked like, how are you going to win a national championship if you've never even gotten there? So I think showing the final fours that we've achieved at this school is really important. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. I mean, how has this off season been? It always, they say it always helps when you get a year under your belt. Yeah. Just, how has that been for you? I guess that you felt that difference after playing a year? Oh, 100%. Coming in, obviously, from high school to college, it's a huge jump. But I knew from freshman year to sophomore year, it's going to be an even bigger jump. And it's kind of like do or die. Like, this is your moment to kind of make yourself better, or it's your time to kind of fall off the grid. And I obviously didn't want that to happen. I talked to the coaches, kind of found out what they wanted me to be this year, and worked really hard in the off season of becoming what they wanted me to be. And so I feel like coming into this year, I'm just really excited to see how our team meshes and how our chemistry meshes and just being the best person and player I can be.